always comes to mind as one of those moments where I thought, this isn't exactly where I thought I would end up. I'm Eileen Risk, and my position is Epidemiology Bureau Manager with the Salt Lake Valley Health Department. One of the most challenging moments in my career was during an investigation of hepatitis A. I had to gain the trust of drug users and people that prepared heroin because there was an outbreak of hepatitis A within the community of drug users, specifically heroin. Epidemiologists look at the community and try to figure out what are the risks, where are the risks coming from, who's impacted by this, and use all that information to then prevent further disease spread. The hardest part of being an epidemiologist is obtaining information quickly Everything needs results right away, and that's an expectation for myself and my team that I work with in epidemiology, but it's also my desire to prevent disease. dropped off four samples. Uh, we've requested bacterial and viral testing on these samples. We got a call uh, a day or so ago from um, concerned citizens. They'd attended an event and uh, a majority of them have been sick with vomiting and diarrhea. It starts with a phone call oftentimes and that phone call can trigger a whole sequence of events. experience we had was um, a tularemia outbreak where a mom called up and said my son who's 14 has been ill for six weeks. Prior to this he was athletic, he was involved with school, he's done nothing but sleep, stay in his bedroom, you know he aches, he doesn't feel well, he's been to see several providers, no one can give me any answers so I'm calling to see if you might have some idea. The person who took the call um, didn't dismiss the call, great epidemiologist, and started asking the types of questions to help us understand what could have occurred that caused the illness. Within 24 hours of that call, we were able to figure out that, that her son had tularemia. It requires a lot of just being ready to respond to reports seven days a week and 24 hours a day. I think it's very important for the public to understand the importance of public health, but specifically epidemiology, to know that when they're not hearing about pandemic, influenza, we're still very busy trying to prevent disease. And if disease isn't occurring, there's a reason why. It's because we're containing it. The best part is just being able to start asking questions and having it all come together, an aha moment. This is where they got it, this is how they got it, and this is what we can do to prevent it. It's bliss. I feel like we are making a difference. Mm -hmm.